Uh, we're just riding down in Moab. Uh, got the families all down here. Uh, came down to spend some family time and get out and enjoy the beautiful scenery. I think we had over 30 this yeah. trip. Uh, <clears throat> three groups from Wyoming, actually, and uh, the rest of us are all from uh, Richfield, one from American Fork. They call it poisonous spider because a girl got bit by a spider and she was buried up on the trail somewhere. We, we'll, we'll come out to ride at Moab with anybody, anytime. We just love it down here. We ride with the Jorgensen's down in Richfield a lot. Yeah, we love coming down here. These, this place has some of the best trails in the world. I'd put them up with anywhere in the world. It's hard to find something to, to do as a family that everybody enjoys. You know, the girls like their thing and the boys like their thing. And this is just getting together and riding side by side. It's something that the whole family likes. We all love it. Going on a laser ride? Going on a ride in Moab. It's definitely a good family hobby. All the kids like it, everybody enjoys it. It's fun to be in the outdoors. The kids uh, really enjoy it. Uh, we just put the car seats in the back and throw them in. It's amazing, they just, they're so long for the ride and love it. When we started out with one, with our first child, we just had a general put a bump seat in the middle and and uh, we just graduated to the fourth seat with our with our youngest, year and a half, and loves every minute of it. Every time uh, my my son Trey comes out in the garage and sees it, he just wants to go for a ride. Whether it's around the block or up in the hills, he just wants to be in it. Uh, we have a lot of the same uh, return, like same peak guys coming, but we always get a couple more people each time that that join us for the ride. This is the first time we've been to Moab yep. to do this. <laughs> it's a lot more technical than what we ride around our show. We do do lots of mountain roads and stuff. This is rocks. Lots yeah. of rocks. Lots of rocks and sand. Yeah. Like a sand dude. It's amazing how well they go up the rocks compared to just like if you were to go up a dirt trail like the roads you go up this, you, it wouldn't be as easy. Well, it actually started with, with my dad's parents. So actually fourth generation. So we used to go down to Coral Pink Sand Dunes for our family reunions when I was just a little kid uh, with Grandma and Grandpa Jorgensen. Uh, and it, it was, that's kind of where it started. I remember riding a little ATC 70 and a little TRX 70 out on the sand dunes. And my dad, he says, that's, that's how you know they make a good unit because uh, I would ride it as fast as it could go in first gear because I didn't know how to shift. And I was, what, five years old, we were down in Caneville, Utah, and I was on a, a Honda 50 in my cowboy boots while all the bigger, all my older brothers were out doing jumps and stuff. I was riding around camp. It was a good time. I have a vivid memory of that. At first, I didn't really know what was going on, so in order to stop, I would just tip over. I didn't know what the brakes were, didn't know anything. I was just hopped on and gripped it and ripped it, you know? Not much has changed. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, we've seen it go through three-wheelers to four-wheelers to side-by-sides, done it all. We won!